They say walking into a lab contaminated by an unknown chemical can be unnerving. That's why the Urbana Fire Department conducts regular training sessions. We're doing our work ahead of time, doing our homework, making sure we know exactly what to do. So then we're able then to focus and uh, if we have a real emergency, we can fall back on our training. Okay, we have the policies and procedures in place, but we rarely get to use them. You know, so that creates a higher level of risk to us when we have to. You know, you find your little things that need to be fixed and worked on, and that's what we'll go back. We'll talk about that and break it back down and see what we need to work on. While the department is used to responding to fires, they say they need to practice more uncommon situations, like a chemical spill. The team practices various drills, then critiques their performance. And what we're doing is we're looking and ensuring that not only at the positive things, but also at the negative things that we can work on. One of the exercises today included rescuing this victim from a lab and then bringing him back out here to clean him of any hazardous materials. Now officials say, don't worry, he's going to be just fine. Oh, it went great. We're able to, uh, to rescue the person in, in great time and it would show that we could have an actual rescue without minimal injury, hopefully, or with minimal injury. The one idea Foster says they need to continuously work on is problem solving as every situation is different. You're never gonna run into the same thing in this business. So we have to be able to adapt and, and be able to, to go with that. In Urbana, I'm Sarah Blue for WEIU Newswatch.